what's going on guys today I wanted to take some time to talk about Maurice Jones drew the defending NFL rushing title holder he had the most yards last year 1606 along with eight rushing touchdowns and obviously he is one of the more elite running backs in the NFL and he's been a big staple in the Jaguars offense as they've been a very struggling offense but Maurice Jones drew has always been there to pick up some slack although the team hasn't had that much success in recent years but anyways Maurice Jones drew was awarded a front-loaded contract in 2009 and this play here I had a Madden was just ridiculous with MJD, but MJD has obviously been holding out at training camp because he wants a better contract. He had a front-loaded contract. He's gotten paid most of his money already. According to the Roto World, he's scheduled to make about four and a half million this year in his base salary. Compared to a guy like Adrian Peterson, who signed his deal last year, he's scheduled to make eight million dollars in base salary this year, and it's going to pick up in 2013, 2014. And so MJD, obviously, I've said already, has a front-loaded contract, and he's played out all of his years that were going to give him the most money, and now he would want a new deal because he is a valuable player. Player. But even though MJD has been phenomenal his three years since he signed his new deal, they've gone seven and nine, eight and eight, and five and eleven. So how valuable to the Jags is MJD? Well, of course, he's been their best player on offense easily, and their offensive passing game has struggled mightily and been among the league's worst in all three seasons. But still, running back is a devalued position. Everybody talks about this. Running backs aren't as valuable as they were a few years ago. Elite running backs are not taking teams to the championship games. The Vikings were able to make it to the NFC Championship game in 2009 with Adrian Peterson. They also had Brett Favre and a breaking out Sidney Rice and Percy Harvin on that offense. And then you look at the 08 season and the Vikings actually were led by Adrian Peterson when they had Tavares Jackson at quarterback, but they could not escape the wild card round of the playoffs. So obviously, the money is a lot smarter to be invested into the passing offense rather than the running offense, but it is a lot different situation in this case because MJD is not a free agent. It's not debating whether to sign him or free agent wide receivers. It's whether or not he's going to play out the rest of his contract. He signed it and it was a contract that was going to pay him for what they thought he could do and what he could become because he didn't have a thousand yard rushing season even until 2009 when he became the full-time starter. So now first year owner Shahid Khan has a decision to make. Does he want to let Maurice Jones Drew continue to hold out and call his bluff or does he want to pay him more money so he can come back to this offense which looks to have a much better passing offense so far through this preseason. Gabber looks to be improved and they have some new weapons on offense including rookie first round pick Justin Blackman. And now over the past couple of days I've been reading about teams possibly interested in trading from Maurice Jones Drew, like the New York Jets who could use a better option for their power run offense. Articles are saying that Maurice Jones Drew is open to a trade. Doesn't look like Shahid Khan, the owner, is, but there has been teams apparently contacting the Jaguars about trading for him, so I, I would think if they had the right offer, they would at least think about it. Even though he's a first-year owner, he could get a lot of heat for this move. I mean, running back is not that valuable. They have Rashad Jennings. He's not going to be a 1,600-yard rusher, I wouldn't think, but running backs aren't that valuable. Maurice Jones Drew has already played for six seasons in Jacksonville, so what do is going to happen with this situation, guys. Is Maurice Jones Drew going to be traded? I really don't think it's going to happen, but I'm not sure how I can see him playing for the Jaguars this year unless they up the ante and give him a new contract offer. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.